So welcome back guys. Today we'll be doing another scratch project. This is time we're gonna do a project on render shark and today we'll be learning about custom blocks. What is a custom block you ask? Custom blocks is a reusable code block that once it is written it can be reused without repeating the same set of code anywhere. So you don't have to keep on recording re repeating your code over and over again. You can add many functions to a custom block. Okay, so this is the project we'll be making today. As you can see, we'll be making a backdrop. Uh, we'll be getting a shark, shark sprite from the library. Okay. So first of all, we need to rename this project to render shark. Then we'll delete the scratch cat, go to the sprite library and upload shark we'll be taking this one today okay first we have to set the size to 75 obviously because it's too big so first we'll all, always drag a one click one flag click block then we need a forever loop so everything inside the loop repeats forever until you click the stop button then we'll need to add an extension which is the pen extension Right here, just click on this once and you'll get all the pen functions. So first we want to erase all because we don't want extra stamps to be shown in the beginning. So we need to erase everything. Then we'll first we'll need to make a, a custom block. Then after that, we'll be need to make a custom block. We'll name it render shark. Okay, so we need to define render shark first. So we need to show the we need to show the shark. Then we switch costume to shark one so it won't be shark B, which is the other shark. And then we repeat twenty times, which means everything inside here will repeat for twenty times. So then we'll need the pen function. Stamp. Stamp is to like make layers of a sprite. And then we'll change y by one so it'll repeatedly go down, go up, go up, so it'll make an effect that looks like it's stamping. So we'll need to get the change y by one. Oops. One. Okay, so now we'll be needing the go to zero zero because we want the car the shark to stay in the middle. Then, since we already have the set size to 75, I don't think we'll need that. So, then we'll need to do render shark, which is the custom function. Then, if if you put this right here, that means it'll define this block of code right here. And then, we'll need an if then statement. If then, right arrow, right arrow is clicked. Right arrow is clicked then it will change the degree turn by five so it'll just turn right by five if you click the right arrow then we'll need to duplicate this code we'll make we'll turn it to the left left arrow and tur turn it left five degrees so now, so now we have the code. So if we try it out, then it'll stamp, but it'll keep on repeatedly stamping. If you want this to stop doing this, you can go to my blocks and check the run screen without refresh. So now when you press play, it won't keep on stamping. So finally, we need to make a backdrop. So we hit the backdrop button Go to backdrops, select like a blue color, maybe turn up the saturation to 100. It's like, like a, a sky blue color, go here. We don't need outline because it's gonna make it look bad. Then we drag from here. So yeah, so I censored it. Now this is the blue background. 
So now let's go back to the code. Back to shark. Okay. So let's try it. So as you can see, when you hold down the right button, it turns right. When you turn left, it turns left. It looks like a 3D figure because it's stamped a lot of times. So finally, you need to save your project. And thank, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. And remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment.